Hey, welcome to Woods Creek Workshop. My name is Yucho. This is a surface grinder, by far the most precise machining tool I have in my shop. It removes the material by using this grinding wheel. Or if you just simply want to part with the awesome surface finish, you would use one of these as well. This is a magnetic chuck. You simply place the part on top of it and flip the lever and it will hold securely onto the parts that you are wanting to grind. Normally you would mount this magnetic chuck onto the table using hold down clamps that rest on top of this portion of the table and clamps down on the recess of the chucks right there, one on each end. But unfortunately when I purchased this surface grinder, I did not get those clamps from the previous owner. In fact, he simply drilled and tapped mounting holes directly onto the table and just use the socket head cap screws. Now, I do want to mount it back using the clamps, but for some reason that I don't know, you can no longer buy them or I have had difficulty locating them through uh, internet. So we're gonna make them today. We're gonna clean up the rough edges, um, marks left by the bandsaw. Now these, since these are hot roll steel, they're uh, they don't machine quite as well as cold roll steel and it can be a little bit uh, tougher on uh, cutting tools. I'm using a 5 8 inch roughing end mill um, and I I'm really not caring about the uh, surface finish at this point. Just want to get it squared up. We're going to shoot for a 4.9 inches length. I put a stop there so once we get the X uh, axis tuned in we can just pop the second piece in there and get the same length. It doesn't have to be precise. This is not a precision part. 4.968 so 68,000 Alright, that should give us 4.9. Alright, we're going to lightly clean up the surfaces and get rid, the, get rid of the mill scale. And I know what you're thinking. This is not the right tool on hot roll steel like that with mill scale and I completely agree. You should never use your good carbide um, face mill. Except this is not a good one. This is a cheap one. I hate it. You can never get a good finish because the, some of these inserts are, not all of the inserts are at the same height so uh, it just Anyway, it doesn't give you a good surface finish. I don't care about it. It's uh, good enough to get rid of the mill scale. It gets destroyed, it doesn't break my heart. So don't do this with your good one. Clean up most of it. There are a couple spots, but doesn't matter. They're going to get machined off anyway.
Okay, this is a 6x12 magnetic chuck that I'm going to be mounting on the surface grinder. I just did a quick sketch. We're going to machine out the, those hashed areas and uh, machine an elongated uh, hole there opening for um, bolt to clamp uh, to go through the T-nut. Let's go to the mill and hog out those parts. Take finishing cut with the carbide end mill. All right, let's machine out the corners. There's a lot of chatter when you get to the corner because you're touching a uh, quarter of a diameter, a uh, circumference, I should say, of the end mill, the 90 degrees at the corner. So, you just have to take it easy. We're going to machine a opening elongated uh, hole for mounting bolt. I don't have the correct size end mill so we'll just drill out the ends with the drill and then we'll uh, just nibble away at the middle. So 11 32nd, that's a clearance hole for 5 16th, 5 16th inch bolt. So we have the two pieces machined. I need to take it to the sander and round, uh, round off the corners. But basically the chucks have uh, little uh, pockets and it clamps on. Now I'll need to use a block underneath it on this end and then uh, bolt with T-nuts. Give it a quick sanding job, just round it off the edges. That cheap uh, face cutter, face mill, just doesn't give you a very good smooth finish. Here are the hold down clamps that we machined.
It's on there nice and solid. Turned out pretty good. Now we just need to mount a dial test indicator and uh, trim in this chuck, make sure it's sitting parallel. But other than that, this project's done. Well, another successful completion of uh, another project. I can cross off one more item off my to-do list. So thanks for hanging out in my shop. Uh, my neighbor's dogs are going crazy, so I better go find out what's going on. We've been having coyote problems. So anyway, please give me a thumbs up, uh, comment, and subscribe. And uh, go into your shop and make something. See you next time.